Welcome to Technical Studies. SketchUp is one of the easiest software for learning 3D modeling. There are thousands of excellent videos are there in YouTube, teaching house modeling and interior. But, very few good videos, teaching modeling related to mechanical engineering. I think, it will be helpful for those, who like mechanical engineering. In this video, I will show you, how to model a pipe, having bevels, on both ends. You can see, most of the commands, in the left corner of the screen. Left click, on the figure, right click and click on, erase command. Left click on the camera, and choose, the parallel projection. Click on the, front icon. Click on the circle icon. Left click on the center of the axis. Move the finger from the mouse and move the mouse to any side. Type 300 in the measurement column in the right bottom corner and press enter on the keyboard. Left click exactly on the outline of the circle. In the pop-up ribbon, click on the entry information. Change the number of segments from 24 to 64. Click on the face of the circle and click on the offset button. Write down 12 in the measurement column and press the enter key. Rotate the center mouse button to bring the object back and forth. Press down the center button and drag the mouse to rotate the screen. Or click on the ISO button. Left click on the face in between the two circles to select the face. Leave the mouse and type 1500 in the measurement column and click enter. Click on the end of the pipe and click on the offset tool. Select the outer circle and move the cursor inward, you will see a new circle is forming. Type down 10 in the distance column and press enter. You marked the root of the bevel 2 millimeters. Select the surface between the two inner circles. Click on the Move tool. Click anywhere on the screen and move the cursor parallel to the green axis. You will see a bevel is formed. Type 8 in the distance column and hit the Enter button. You can input the bevel leg length as required. Select the bevel root face again, select the move tool and move the face 2 more millimeter. Now the length of the bevel leg is 10 millimeters. Select the other face. Select the offset tool. And offset 10 millimeters from the outer edge. It is usual the offset tool will select the outer edge automatically. Select the inner face and click on the move tool. Move the cursor parallel to the green axis. Type 10 millimeters in the distance column and hit the enter button. Rotate the screen and check the bevel. Click anywhere on the pipe three times continuously. The pipe will be selected fully. If you click only once, the surface will be selected. If you click twice continuously, the surface and the surrounding border lines also will be selected. 
Three continuous click will select the entire object. After selecting the full object, right click and press on the group button. Go to the right side panel and click on the color tab. Left click on any color and left click on the pipe. Click on another color and click on the pipe. Go to the top left side and click on the shadow icon. The shadow is not correct because the pipe sits below the red axis. Click on the front view icon. Click on the pipe, then the move tool. Click on the screen anywhere. Move the cursor upward until the pipe reach above the red axis. Press on the ISO button. Adjust the shadow slide bar to get a good shade of the pipe. Thank you for watching. Please comment.